Hello again everyone, it is the Black Knight and what in what should be a relatively quick video. Not not too short, but not too long either. Um it was gonna be a longer video, honestly, for what I had planned, but it is April eleventh, twenty seventeen, and we are completely surrounded by no Duke of Death. That's right, it was not released, nor were any of the other returning vehicles. The vehicles for returning players, no, they have not been released into the game. They've added another adversary mode. But, based on the fact... Ooh, here, that's, that's, that looks cool. Based on the fact that right now hackers are swarming all over the public lobbies, especially in PC games. Um, thanks for the heads up for Mr. Boss for the win, and oh, probably a whole bunch of other... Like, this is all over the place. I've seen more than one video talking about how hackers are taking all, all your money, or if they're not taking it, they're somehow making it go away... And they're messing with your levels and doing all kinds of just nasty hacker stuff. Not the kind of fun hacker stuff that you see in my channel. Where people are blowing each other up or making spaceships appear or filling your office with Duke of Deaths. Um, none of that, no. What we got here is uh, some actual vindictive stuff going on. So just a little, the short term probably stay out of the public lobbies is the, is the hint that they're telling everybody. Which means all of my, you know, office and the... CEO in pajamas kind of stuff, all of the business kind of stuff like that. Marbly, most of the uh, the biker stuff, which is all locked to public lobbies, is not a good idea right now because really bad things could, could in theory, happen to you. So, without a Duke of Death, without a, a, being able to do any kind of CEO in pajama stuff, but having over the last, oh, several days, couple of weeks, made some money for myself because I was doing some of the double money stunt races and actually selling some cars before the uh selling some special vehicle cargo before things got too dangerous i have gathered enough money 1.9 million roughly that i can get the new classic turismo come on legendary motorsports let's do it pop the website there it is, the Grotti Turismo Classic. I can now get this and upgrade it, and I think I should still have roughly a million less. Let's look at it. This one is for the purists. No high-tech driving aids, no smart safety features. When you're three nanoseconds away from getting a mouthful of the truck in front, no onboard supercomputer is going to save you. But just like learning a language or killing a stranger with your bare hands, this kind of hard work is its own reward, and except for the really kind of creepy part of that, that's pretty much true of the real-life Ferrari F40, which uh, this is emulating. So what we're going to do is we're going to order it in red, because they're all red, pretty much. There was In Europe, some of the European spec ones you could get in yellow or black or dark red, and a couple other things like that. I don't even think they had blue, although there are a couple blue resprays in existence. Maybe they're kit cars, we don't really know, but this... This here is going to happen in red, because that's just how I imagine this car. And we'll have it brought up here. Purchase pending. And now we'll do the time warp again. It should be noted that I am absolutely in love with the Infernus Classic. I mean, who does not love a, a Lamborghini Diablo? But I don't want to make myself completely broke here. And this is not the fastest of the... Sports Classics, the car I ordered is the fastest of the Sports Classics, so that is more of a need. We have a need for that car. We, If we do any racing and Sports Classics are involved, you know, I never did invest in a Sterling GT, and now I'm kind of thankful for it. Now I can get this car. It's cheaper than the Sterling. Um, it's more meaningful to me than the Sterling. Uh, this is one of those cars growing up. It was just it was just one of those cars that you just fell in love with. I mean, this is from 1988-89. That was just the end of my high school years. That was when you, you know, we're talking serious dream about could you own the car times here, you know? Okay, we're zoomed in. Will we see it up here? That would be really cool if we just went boom right in front of us here while we're in standby mode. Come on. All right, time warp again. All right, come on. How long does it take to have a car magically appear in your garage? I mean, it's magic anyway. We've made the purchase. Are they simulating delivery time? I mean, are they... Hey, there we go. Take a look at this bad boy right here. Wow. And that pretty much looks like... 
I mean, obviously they've done some different things with the side scoops to make it a little different. We're going to see how much. And, and whereas the main, you know, actual GT40 looks kind of happy, they've turned the mouth down a little bit. So this looks like a car that's going to barf. Don't you agree that's kind of like a... Okay, so we have to... We have to do some tweaking here, and for some reason the mirrors are orange. Okay, so we have to fix that. It's an interesting interior here. We got the has that. Actually, I believe the interiors. This is another one of those cars that was more basic than even this in real life. It was a very simplified. It was very much along the philosophy of the uh, Zentorno in real life, the, the Sesta Elemento. This. Oh, it's a sin to even take it out in the rain. I'm considering updating the red, too. I think more of a Torino red, a little brighter red. Would be, would be better. If you really want to fall in love with the F40, uh, look on, there's a, I'll put a link in the description to Chris Harris's review of the F40 and the F50, which is just, you know, I, this is pre-Top Gear. This is, you know, just from his web series, and it's just one of those things you can just watch over and over again. It's just... You feel his emotions, and it's really great. It's, it's the terrifying nature of this car. Well, I have to say, it feels pretty good driving it. Maybe here we're stealing now. Maybe a little bit, but not really. We're, we're, we're busy. We're in What's wrong with her now? Look at, look at her face. She's like, Bleh. We have to fix that. Okay, we're going to take this through the full upgrade mode. Full armor upgrade. This is some special op stuff. Make the race brakes magical here. Bumpers. Now, lightweight stock front. Okay, that makes it closer, but not really. Classic front bumper. No. Racer front bumper. No. No. GT front bumper. GT front bumper. That's actually probably the closest to some of the pictures I've seen. But... I don't know. I mean, there really there were a couple openings here. The I hate this bleh kind of thing going bleh. There's something funny about it. Well, you want to just go all out? See, I'd rather not have those two spikes there. What do we want? I think the lightweight stock front bumper might be the closest we could come. You know, there still should be a couple openings here and here, but obviously for that's a beauty right there. Obviously for some sort of you know, oh, we have more bumper stuff to do. Bumpers. We have to go back to front bumper. How do we get to the rear bumper? Can you only modify the front bumper? Is that it? Okay, so engine, engine tunes, there we go, obviously you max that out, engine block, oh let's make it a redhead, don't you think? A testarossa, exhaust, carbon tipped, chrome tipped, titanium tipped, wide exhaust. I'm thinking chrome tipped. That seems sounds like how you don't need explosives. Hood, okay. Stock hood with stripe. No vented hood. Yeah, that was easy. We need a, a double vented. You original one had two vents. That's a GT. But that's a Ford GT hood. That's not. That's a GT hood, but it's not the right GT. All right, I think three is better than the one. Don't you think? Vented hood, a single vent. Yeah, I'm going for the triple. It's not the same as the double, but oh well. Let's let's go with Looking that. Route. sharp. That has the right feel. Horn. Let's see. Do we have anything musical that sounds kind of Italian? Three minutes later. Okay, I'm gonna go. Wow, that's expensive. Seventy-five thousand for a. You know, what? let's leave the one. After all of that, lights, headlights definitely give it xenons. 
the one upgrade we'll give it here. Neon kit. Do we want to give it the... Uh, yeah, let's hold up on the neon for the right time. Right now. I'm not sure what I want to do on the neons. The plate. Give me the black knight. Give me a little on black. Respray. Now, primary color. Metallic. Come on, swing this out here a little bit. Is there a different view? See, that's the red, which is, which is what I bought. But I think Torino red. That looks even more than four. I think Torino red really is the thing. And the only thing we could do is we could do a pearlescent of... Let's see, that we do a pearlescent? Torino, can we do red pearlescent over... Can we look at that? Give it a red pearlescent over Torino... What about gold? Blaze red, lava red. I don't know, the pearlescent might just, oh, bright orange, there you go, that's just bronze, no, is there like gold or something? No, you know what, I think just, just the, uh, the red is secondary color, we want to match it. Chrome, I could see maybe doing chrome mirrors, but I don't think that's right either. Come on, match it up. Torino red. Torino red on Torino red. Trim color. Oh, this is nice. <clears throat> White and red. I don't know really. I don't even know what color they really were in those cards. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that, but you know what I'm thinking? Something like a saddle brown or a sea... Where's a tan? Straw brown, sandy brown, bleached brown. That looks too green almost. It doesn't... Alright, you know what? Let's actually leave it as... We leave that stock as it is. Yeah, crew emblem. No, I'm not gonna put the. I'm not gonna put the uh, the uku guy. Sun strips. No, I don't know. Sun strips don't really call it to me. Doesn't doesn't feel right. I don't know. Skirts. No, skirts could be important. Secondary color skirts, carbon skirts. That just changes the color. There's no point in spending money because it's going to look the same. Spoiler. Stock spoiler. Now, does it increase traction? I think it's none decreases it. Stock spoiler. Stock spoiler looks close. It's a double secondary color spoiler. I am almost feel like I have to change it just to make sure I get the boost, but it looks like... It's the same, you just lose it if you turn, turn off the spoiler. So it's not a downforce car. That's a good, that's a good thing. All right, we have the secondary color spoiler, carbon spoiler, GT wing. That doesn't look from the side. It's not, that. that's, now you're really coming away from the stock kind of look of things here. Sport wings. And they don't boost anything. I think we'll leave the stock spoiler. I kind of like it. Transmission, obviously, race transmission. This will give you some more zip. Turbo, oh yeah. If any car deserves turbo tuning, it's this one. This is one of the original turbo monsters. The wheels, I'm leaving alone. The wheels are just what they're supposed to be. Um, we need to probably do bulletproof tires, though. Tires, tire enhancements, bulletproof tires. They won't shoot these out. Tire design. Yeah, there's custom wheels for that. Tire smoke, leave the tire smoke alone. Windows, you want to be seen in these. I'm not smoking them up. Well, maybe we'll smoke them up a little. Light smoke. And now let's exit. And there you have it. Just under a million. It's a little sleepy looking. A little more miserable. Looks like he's had a long night. Because 
the uh, the angles on the intake are a little different than the original car. But whoa! Feel this baby roll here. And here we are with all the doors open, just in case you wanted to see, you know. There's your little trunk. Not much, not even room for, room for golf clubs, but if, why would you be golfing when you could drive one of these for the weekend? Just go cruising. Cool stuff going on here, cool stuff. jumps a little bit when you do that. People with remote functions. Never remote started a car before. This is a first, folks. Beautiful. It really does move. Okay, I got an idea. Let's see how well it moves. Let's see, because we have a standard. I'm not Brophy, but I don't I don't test things to the extent that Brophy does, but I do know my I have my own measure of how I uh, how I measure a car, how fast it is. Let's see, where is it? The Sonora Freeway. Yes, folks. Two minutes on the Sonora Freeway means you're pretty quick. Let's see if this baby can do it in two. Or thereabouts. I, I'm expecting somewhere in like a 210 to 205 range. And you know, you're talking with an RE7B, you're talking, that's a sub two minutes. That's like a 150s kind of time frame. But I don't think we expect that. Time of day current, what's Dick at noon? Weather current, traffic off. Wanted levels off, customs on. Oh, we have to change the sports classics. Don't be fooled. This looks like a supercar, and it is a supercar, but it's a sports classic. It would be nice if they said it so that you could race it as a super as well. No, 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 no. There you go. See how that kind of doesn't fit? That's what it's, that's as close as I think I can make it. Look like a proper F40. I'm excited to try this out. I really am. Two, one, do this thing. Again, the double wing not historically accurate, really, but close enough for an alternate universe. That's pretty quick. I'll see how it handles. A little slippy, but catchable. Actually, that feels like how it's supposed to feel. I can't exp exactly explain why. That little bit of on the edge. And yet it handles very well. He's taking the corners, no problem. I had a break there a little bit because I didn't know if it was going to come down. I might have lost a little bit there for my own lack of skill. Or maybe I just prevented an accident. You know, you know that kind of thing. Okay, here we go. The later you break after the black line, the better. For, whoa, here we go. Still, it's, a, it's when it slides, it's very controlled. Can't take that quite flat out. It's still squeal. Well, you did, but it's like it's still squealing a little bit. This is gonna be tough. Yeah, I may have overbraked it there, but we'll let the acceleration make up for the mistake. So I go full over airborne over that little dip de doo there. Come on. Speed! Arr! Feels pretty quick. I'm not even looking at the time. I'm just trying to make sure it stays on the road. You finished first. 201. 201, 901. That is faster than my Entity XF. I think the Entity might be able to pull down a 201. 
I might have a video at the time. 201 is quick, ladies and gentlemen. That is no slouch of a car, and I was not perfect on this run. I was not even warmed up. That's a fast car, ladies and gentlemen. So, we've got that going for us. Even though we don't have the Duke O Death, or as mine will be called, the Ook of Death. <laughs> Ook O Death. Ook Ook, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see, we'll pop out here, we'll get a last shot of the car. And time warp again. But here we are. Ooh, and the lights flip up at night. Just a little bit. Um, do you really want me to throw a grenade at you? Yeah, I didn't think so. Why don't the windows roll down? I never understood exactly why the windows don't roll down. But there you have it, folks. We have it. The Turismo Classic. And it is a fast car. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Obviously, the Top Gear Garage. That's where this belongs. If only for Chris Harris's review. Just lovely. And for some reason, this is happening now. I don't know why. It puts you where the car is. I, I don't know what that is. Something odd. It's odd.